Hello Cancers and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your February 2019 monthly tarot reading. Alrighty guys, and if you want to check out the um, a little monthly astrological overview, I have it in the first five minutes of the Aquarius February 2019 video, so check that out if you want to see anything about the astrology and, um, you know, all the cosmic influences that will be happening and, you know, shifting the energies this month. It's only the first five minutes of, again, that February 2019 video for Aquarius. Alrighty, Cancers, we're using the Hobbit Tarot to pick out your general energy for the month as well as what is coming in for you. <clears throat> Had to take a little bit of a break. I was really sick there for a while. So, sorry that these readings are coming in a little bit later than I wanted them to. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, what is the general energy for my Cancers? for the month of February 2019. Remember that this reading will not resonate with all of you and to get a better overview of what 2019 to 2020 has in store for you guys, you can check out your yearly 2019 tarot readings, okay? They have a lot of important messages and um, a really great overview of what this year will be like for you guys. Remember that we are not just our sun sign, so be sure to check out the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Alrighty, let's see. Cancers, Cancers, Cancers. What is your general energy this month? General energy for my Cancers. It's really weird. I just closed my eyes when I was shuffling there and I just saw a tree. I feel like you guys have grown a lot and you're at like this point. It's almost, almost like I saw like a tree in the early spring with the buds. Um, and I just feel like you guys are getting to this point now where we're blooming. We're reaching that point of success. And I love that the sun came out when I was thinking about that because... Um, I just feel like we're blossoming, we're blooming, we're coming to this point, you know, where we get to really bask in what we've created and how much, how much we've grown and really get to see that our efforts be rewarded. We're getting to see, um, some recognition for whatever we put in. Um, that could be within love or, you know, cre um, career, it could be anything, but in general, it just feels like you're coming to a really nice point in your life here. We're feeling really, well, you know, accomplished, we're celebrating something, you know, there's a really, the sun is like the happiest card in the deck, so you guys are really... You guys are really happy about something this month. We have something to celebrate, something to really feel successful and proud about, okay? Or again, we're reaching that point of success that we've been trying to get to for so long. And I love that card for you guys because I know that my cancers have been through a lot and it's been a long journey. So especially all through 20, 2018 was tough for you guys. So let's see what's coming in this month for you. I'm going to continue to use uh, my Hobbit deck here. What's coming in this month for my cancers? Emily, what's coming in this month for my Cancers? We'll do challenges and then love after this. So this is just general. Generally, what's coming in this month for my Cancers? What will they be experiencing? I'm going to pull this. Six of Swords. Nice. The Hero Font. Coming in this month for my cancers, we get justice. I almost like flung that card across the room there. Alright, let's see what else is coming in. The tower, wow, okay. I feel like it's gonna bring in exactly what we want here, what we've been waiting for. You never can expect what a tower moment is. I saw a tower moment coming up for a long time and I was really nervous about it. And then it happened, and I was like, I did not expect it to be this at all. <laughs> did not expect it to be that I was just going to get really sick and have to go to the hospital. But sometimes, even moments like that can shift our perspective, and that's why they come up as so vivid, so important, so huge. And sometimes it, we don't even realize that that tower moment was that tower moment until afterwards. And it feels like it's a good tower moment for you guys. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's bringing in the Wheel of Fortune. It's bringing in a change here, a real shift in your energy. So let's pull um, some clarifiers here. I'm going to clarify with the same deck, actually, just because I really like how well this deck is picking up on your energies for this month. All right, let's clarify the Six of Swords and the Hero Font here. The six of Swords to the Hero Font. Clarify the energies, clarify the situations that are bringing up energies of the Six of Swords and the Hero Font. We get the Nine of Cups. That's nice. <laughs> 
clarify the pair of justice, clarify the messages here. Seven, okay, seven of swords, clarify justice. Justice for my cancers for February 2019. Clarify this. It's right at the center of your reading. It definitely feels like this month will balance us out in some way, or, or we will again be um, focusing on balancing out something, focusing on maybe even signing documents, legal matters. But regardless of what it is, it's balancing us out here, two of coins. What's this tower moment? Clarify the tower here for my cancers. Brought up this tower moment, or what does this tower moment have to do with for my cancers? The star, yes. Oh my god, I love seeing the tower and the star because they are, um, again, right after each other. The star comes right after the tower, so again, it's that clarity, it's that getting there, that healing moment. Um, <clears throat> whatever the tower has cleared away, it is making room for what the star and the wheel of fortune are bringing in here, and that's really awesome. That I just love that that is the clarifier for this, it's perfect. The Wheel of Fortune. Three of Swords. Interesting. I don't hate that it's there, though, because to me, it feels like we're healing from this. This is a healing moment here. Um, this is a really, really awesome reading for you guys. Again, it just feels like you're getting there this month. We're reaching some type of powerful transition in that we're leaving something huge behind. Um, and again, if you guys haven't checked out my January 20th, 21st, um, Leo full moon and total lunar eclipse video go check that out because those energies are going to be important for the next six months and I mean the hero font and the seven of swords are all about what came out during that energy you know realizing things understanding things that were happening below the surface um what it is that we truly want and being able to leave what was holding us back from that behind it's kind of like right here you're getting some type of information you're understanding something you're getting knowledge or even learning something that you didn't understand before something that you didn't really fully get or, or you know you didn't really have either the courage or just you just didn't understand it yet I feel like some of us it was with us and we just didn't want to deal with it we didn't want to move on from something but it's like all of a sudden it kind of clicks to you and you're like oh this is what I want and to get that I'm gonna have to let go of that obviously right it's kind of like an obvious like like a click moment here you guys are realizing something and you're moving forward because of it really really nice energy there um again the hero font is that divine energy it's also saying at this time to listen to our higher selves this month um towards the beginning of the month that could be really really important um again check out that little the little astrology bit that i did in the beginning of the um oh sorry aquarius video because i think that this has a lot to do with the astrology at the beginning of the month in that aquarius um new moon that we're getting I just think it's going to be very prosperous for us and we're going to be able to really hone in on those realizations that might have been coming up since that Leo full moon. And we're going to be able to understand some of the feelings, some of the, some of, I feel like again, it, like that brought up a lot of feelings, a lot of different directions forward or different understandings of things that we had, than we, um, you know, previously had over what we've been through, over what we're, we've been doing or what wasn't working. And all of a sudden it kind of feels like you guys are getting it. You're seeing something very clearly because, again, justice is the card of Libra. Libra sees things very clearly. They're very just, very much about, you know, seeing things from both sides and being able to look at something in a very balanced way in order to get, you know, to where they want to be. And for me, this whole spread here has a lot to do with what our career mindset is. I mean, for at least this part of it, this could be something else. But to me, a lot of this, because this is the general reading and not the love reading or anything else, I feel like you guys have really gotten somewhere with your careers. You've really gotten somewhere on your career path. Like you understand now where you want to go because with, you know, justice and the two of coins, it's, you know, seeing something again, very clearly understanding something from the perspective of, you know, that justice perspective, you know, achieving a new sense of the balance, accepting our truth and taking responsibility for them and exercising control in order to, you know, make it a reality. Um, we're looking at ourselves rationally here and accepting, our entire truth and the two of coins here really says to me you know that we're moving forward work-wise we're being a lot more agile and handling um, our material matters we're juggling something here we're balancing it out with they both kind of sense you know there's a sense of like you know there's the balance you know there's two guys it's kind of like the same um, balancing act to me when I look at both of these cards they both 
to me bring out a sense of you know bring up a sense of balancing and judgment in work matters and with our you know our money our material aspects and our careers here so again we're juggling something here we're figuring something out maybe how to move forward better you know exploring new options and being a lot more confident in understanding how change can really be met with events sculpted to create you know the positive outcomes that we're that we um want here and it feels like before we didn't understand this but now all of a sudden we're ready to move on from the past we're ready to move on from any sort of closed-mindedness that we had about it because we see that this is what we want and i hope you guys can't hear Scylla snoring loudly in the background but if you can she is very asleep right now um <laughs> but um for a lot again the nine of cups is the card of dreams so <laughs> um this could be your dream and you could be realizing or divining wisdom here about how to get there Again, understanding something, balancing it out, changing, um, you know, what we're doing and how we view it and how we feel about ourselves in terms of, you know, our career and where we're going and we're getting there. And the tower here it could even just be that moment of clarity coming in, but it could be that, you know, we're changing things up here. We're making the necessary changes and it's bringing in this tower moment, which is bringing in the star and, you know, the tower and the star are right after each other, which is amazing. But, you know, the tower says we need to build on solid, on solid foundations here. And it feels like you're trying to figure out what that solid foundation is. So you could be destroying one thing and being like, no, this is what I'm going to do now. This is what works for me. Or, you know, you could be trying out a totally new way of work, a totally different path in work, or, you know, just doing something that you've never done before. And, you know, trying it out and realizing that you have success here and that you're going to heal from any sort of past heartbreak. We're leaving that behind. Yes, the Three of Swords is there and it's present. And it could be coming up because we could be thinking about you know, as we move forward on a new path here and on a new venture, we could be thinking about something that didn't work out in the past. We could be still a little bit frustrated about it. However, whatever is being, whatever is coming in here with the tower, the wheel of fortune, the star says that our fortune is changing and we're getting there. We're getting to where we want to, you know, getting to where we've been trying to get to. So it's really better to just accept these changes rather than to resist them, Cancers, okay? You're going to be going through a lot of changes this month and it's really, really important again to accept rather than resist. Um, the star again is, I mean, it's visionary progress, it's healing, it's, you know, that it's the light at the end of a long, dark tunnel and the wheel of fortune is like, yeah, you wanted this, here we go. It's coming in, you want some fortune. If it hasn't been on your side and you haven't been able to understand things, now you're going to. The wheel of fortune totally changes things. You know, it can't change things for the worse or the better. But to me, I feel that this is a change for the better in order to get over something that was maybe very painful, very difficult, feeling like, how do I get past this roadblock now? You see a way past that this month. You see a way past the roadblock in your in your career this month is really what I'm getting here. So let's look at your challenges. That's really the most important message that I'm getting for you guys this month. Again, check out your weeklies throughout the month because those um, go in depth throughout the weeks over what's going to be happening, how to deal with them. Okay, and we talk more about the astrology of what's happening each week in the weeklies. All right, let's check out... The, let's check out with the Hermetic Tarot what your, this is my Hermetic deck here. We're going to look at your challenges for this month. Challenges for my Cancers. What will challenge them this month? What will be their major challenges in the month of February 2019? Major challenges for my Cancers in the month of February 2019. We get the Princess of Wands. Challenges for my Cancers. What will challenge them this month? The Nine of Swords. Oh, too many cards. Two of Wands. Um, I'm going to just pull it out anyway, because so, these both really want to come out. So yeah, Two of Wands and Death. So to me, again, this is seeing a new path forward and be, you know needing to take action on it. And not be afraid of what the outcome will be. The Nine of Swords can say, oh no, like I'm in this horrible position. Like I can't see my way out here. You know, everything is like gone to pieces here. You can't, you can't really see the way forward again. It's also that anxiety card. It talks to me about a lot of anxiety. It's anxiety that we build up in our heads about a situation. And to me, this is anxiety about starting something new, about taking a new path forward and really putting the effort into planning that and accepting that this death card is here. That, you know, whatever has been is about to change for you guys. You guys are entering a new a ch new chapter here. We know with the tower, with all those cards that just came up in your reading, February marks a new beginning for you guys. It marks an end of the old cancer, the old way of doing things, and 
it seems like some of you guys might even be going forward on new career ventures, new paths here, maybe even thinking about moving. Um, and we're going to need to have courage and strength here. The Princess of Wands is here because we need to, yes, this is starting energy, but we need to grab it and run with it and run through this Nine of Swords and not pay attention to it. You can't have fear at this time. You need to combat this with strength and planning and moving forward and accepting that this, you know, is happening. The Death card is here. We cannot fear it. Yes, it's a challenge. Yes, the plan yes, all of these are going to be a challenge for you guys, but if you meet it head on and go for it, it does feel like, I mean, with your, with your general spread there, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get to that success point that you've been trying to get to. If we stay open-minded and open to these changes that are coming in, adapt to the changes, allow them to come in and shift your life to where it wants to be, okay? It's really the only, you guys are getting some really straightforward messages this month, so let's check out love and relationships now. Love and Relationships for My Cancers for February 2019. I'm going to use the Aquarian Tarot here. All right. Love and Relationships for My Singles, Couples, All My Cancers. What are their love lives through this February 2019? The Fool Reversed. I also get the Eight of Pentacles Reversed. Interesting. Man popped you right out. Love and relationships from the cancers this month. Love lives for singles, couples. Six of logs and anything else. I feel like there's something else for love. Love for my cancer. So what else do they need to know? What else will be happening to present this month here? The lovers. All right, I was kind of drawn to put the lovers upside down. I'm gonna leave it like this, but I'm going to talk about it in kind of both ways because I feel it should be on its side, honestly. But it'll look really awkward. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let it be the way that it is. Spread these guys out a little bit. All right, let's get some clarifiers here. I'm gonna clarify with my Gustav Klimt deck, actually. Let's clarify the full reversed. Let's clarify the full reversed for my Cancers for February 2019, the full reversed. Bring up that for their love lives. Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles reversed for my Cancers and their love lives. Sun reverse. Ooh. Okay. Um, hangman. Clarify the hangman. What's the hangman saying about my cancers for their love lives this month? Hangman trying to focus on. Okay, I knew it. Yeah, this is some big energy for you guys. You guys are having a February is a big mood for you guys. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave that as the um that's a big mood, big energy this month. Six of Rods. Clarify the Six of Rods. It's going to be the title. Oh my god, there you get the tower again. Okay, and the lovers. Some of you guys might be going through breakups this month. I don't want to like throw that out there, but yeah, it seems like some of us here need to have some fun. And um, okay, so I'm going to get go right off the bat with... You know, a message that's really coming in strongly from someone's spirit guide that I can't ignore even. It's just been coming in the whole time. But um, some of you guys are in a very serious, have probably been in this serious relationship where you might be feeling tied to somebody. They might um, be kind of needy or something. I don't know what it, what it is, but it feels like you're feeling foolish about it because they're very egocentric. It's very much all about them, all about them. And you feel like that you're putting in the work, but yet it's never enough. And it might be time to end that. And you're kind of realizing that this situation might have run its course and that no matter how much you give um, and feel comfortable with this person, it's just, it's not going to get to where you want it to be again. It's never going to be what it was. It just feels like the, whatever the situation is, it doesn't mean that they're a bad person. 
I'm not saying that either. Maybe they're going through something. I don't know. But it just feels like the ego, or, you know, they're focused on them, them, them right now. And you're trying to focus on them too in the relationship. But they're not able or, or, or are unwilling to kind of put in equal effort here. It might be time to think of moving forward and choosing to go and have a good time, be with your friends. Um, yeah, I don't know. It might be time to move forward for some of you guys because the ta you know it just feels like with you know the world the tower there's a lot of moving on energy right here of moving forward like closing a chapter um for good sometimes you know in this case it kind of feels like we're making a choice here to move forward so that's that's, that's just gonna be some of you guys some of you guys that are in relationships it does not have to be all of you and it probably definitely won't be so that's why it's important to check out the readings for our sun moon rising and especially venus for love um, because this, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't freak out and be like, this doesn't resonate with me, blah, blah, blah. Well, then I didn't pick up on your energy and it's not going to resonate with everybody every single time. I don't know what all of you guys are going through. I'm just picking up on what comes in. Okay. It's not like I, I can do that. Okay. Um, anyways, back to this, but, um, so yeah, again, I just want you guys to like freak out and be like, oh my God, we're all breaking up now. Um, some of you guys aren't going to be going through a breakup. Some of you guys might be trying to ground yourselves and you might need to really look at the situation from a different perspective. It could feel, again, with the full reverse, the Eight of Pentacles reverse, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, you know, foolish, you know, and, you know, not putting in the effort type of energy there. The Eight of Pentacles reverse kind of, to me, signifies that there are efforts that need to be reworked here, or again, we're not... We're feeling like whatever we've worked on is like it's it's failure. The other person might be a little bit too conceited again. Like that work has to be put in from your end only. And you could just feel very, very giving. Sometimes I see the Queen of Pentacles as very giving, very nurturing energy. Who kind of could get stomped on a little bit because she gives and gives and gives. And nurtures and nurtures. Or again, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, and this person could be, again, they could be the person that's, you know, asking for too much from you. Um... And again, we need to look at this from a different perspective because the sun reverse to me is kind of, it's a very egotistical, very selfish card. You know, the sun is shining within them and not outside um, of the situation, not around the situation. You know, it just feels very, you know, very much like we're blind to the constraints of this situation. We're blind to, we're willing to keep continuously feeling foolish and failing at this rather than see this for what it is and so the hangman comes in here and says and again doesn't mean if, if you're not in a relationship then to me this is going to say you know if things haven't been working out you've been trying to either get with somebody or you know you know open your be open-hearted bring in a loving relationship and make it work and nurture um you know a relationship or you know just get somebody that you want to Oh my god, I'm having a hard time Englishing it. <laughs> you just want to date somebody and be monogamous with somebody, and that's what you've been wanting to do because the Queen of Pentacles is kind of traditional, settle down type energy. And Cancers, you guys like that type of energy as well. You know, you guys aren't, you know, running around gallivanting. You're not known to be that type of crazy, you know, flirt and stuff. I mean, some of you guys might be, whatever, but it's just, to me, this kind of signifies a desire to, you know, have a partner, settle down, have something more traditional, and. Yet our efforts keep, it feels like our efforts are being thwarted again and again. And we're not looking at what the real problem is here. Um, there's a failure to, there's a failure to really, really recognize what's happening here. Failure, a failure to really look within and see what the light, you know, what the sun here is trying to show us. We're ignoring it and instead turning it um, in a different direction or, you know, just blocking it out. It's because we don't want to face again in an egotistical way that maybe the problem is how we're approaching it in us. Um, I'm feeling that more for some single ones, but I mean, if you're in a relationship that might also resonate with you too, but the hangman in the world here need, but you know, the hangman is surrendering to the forces of the universe here, which is kind of the energy that I'm getting. We need to surrender to the force of the universe that's saying that this chapter is closing. We recognize this now, you know, the hangman is saying, okay, okay, whatever is happening here, or it could be even just, you know, you're walking along, you're driving your car, and you just kind of have a realization, maybe you're listening to a song or something. Sometimes I find that like, I'll listen to a lyric and suddenly just get something. Or I find, I have my, be my best uh, moments, honestly, for downloads for my own life, when I'm just driving around in silence or driving around just listening to some music. Um, and it could even be that for you guys. I'm just getting that there's going to be a moment where you're going to know 
you're going to realize something, maybe even a fight or just, you know, that this person, if you're in a relationship, says something that they're just like, that it just like kind of points to you're not enough, you're not putting in enough, and you're just like, you know what, like, I need to like take a step back here because I'm like, I can't do this, like, this is so much right now. Um, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting for you guys is like, you know, you're, you're, get, you're, you're having this feeling where this chapter is closing and it's really, really, it's big mood. It's big mood. And so we're going to need to surrender and really look at this because then the six of rods and the tower here indicate to me that we're thinking about making a choice here. And that choice here is going to be maybe some of for some of us an end of a relationship, for some of us a different approach to love, a more cavalier, having fun and not being so serious, because maybe that's what we need. It feels like to me, you guys need some fun. <laughs> you need to have a good time, you need to go, whether this be, um, you know, just have a good time with your partner or, you know, go have a good time by being single and just being with your friends and, you know, having this type of energy or, again, dating in this kind of way where, you know, we're just having a good time, you know, I'm not trying to, like, um settle down right now and do all this other stuff because it's just not working for me at this time maybe you guys just really need to be single for a while and do your own thing some of you guys could be realizing that this month that this chapter has ended for what you wanted there because it just hasn't been working and we need to rework how we approach love and how we approach relationships and you know the people and relationships that we invite in Again, this is big mood. It just feels like we're having a totally different perspective here on what we've had in relationships and how we've been treated and what we've taken. You guys could really feel almost like a fool for allowing somebody to kind of step all over you and for allowing them to kind of make it all about them. It's not all about them. It's all about you too. A relationship consists of two equal people and you can't have it just be on that other person or you can't have it just be saying, oh, I'm not doing anything wrong. So to me, this is a real shift here. We're surrendering, we're looking at it for what it is, and we're moving forward, we're releasing something. Some of us here could be saying goodbye to somebody, again, making that choice to either be maybe with somebody new. I mean, it could be that for some of you, but I think for a lot of you guys, it's going to be to go have some fun, be single, go, go out with your girls, go out with your guys, go, and, um, go out with your group and have a good time here and allow this change to happen. But you know, welcome, welcome it with open arms because you're excited to live life to the fullest here and just enjoy it and not be so stressed out and it looks like upset, kind of beaten down. It feels like you've been like kind of beaten down in love cancer. I don't know. Um, all right. Let's see what we get for some advice. I'm actually going to use you guys the first ones to get to see my Romance Angels Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. I just got these. Hold on one second. So hi. All right, here we go. Let's check out a Doreen, Doreen Virtue Romance Angel Oracles. I've wanted these for so long. And look at them. They're golden on the side. They're so beautiful. All right, it comes with a little booklet with little descriptions. So let's, let's break the seal here and show you guys some advice. All right, so let's... Take these up for my cancers. Cancers for February 2019. I almost said 2018. I almost had to correct myself. Whoa. Okay. Too many cards, though. I'm going to shake these up a little bit. And I think that we're going to focus on your love because that's where we seem to have some serious problems. Seem to be a little bit more negative. So let's. I'm glad that we're going to use these for you guys for some advice for this month. You guys, get to be my guinea pigs. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry, Silo is making a scene today. All right, let's see. Advice for you guys, and we get, ooh, soulmate, wow. Yes, this is your soulmate, wow. Some of us here, I guess, could be realizing that we are coming into a soulmate relationship, and that could be why we're um, leaving one person for another. We could be meeting somebody that is a soulmate here. Let's see what the book here says. I'm going to find it. It took me a second to find it. Um, you chose this card because you wonder if a certain person is your soulmate, and the answer is yes. As we all do, you have many soulmates, beings with whom you share a mystical soul connection and life path. Soulmates incarnate with the plan of coming together for mutual, spiritual, and personal growth. As you suspected, the person you're inquiring about is one of yours. The sense of familiarity and comfort you felt when you first met also indicates your soulmate bond. So yes, if you guys... Um, 
are soulmate. I mean, oh, sorry, there's more. I'm sorry, this is my first time looking at this book here. This card sometimes comes to those who ask, when will I meet my soulmate or will I ever meet my soulmate as validation that this will occur. Many times this is a person whom you already know. Although romantic sparks don't fly at first, you'll have another opportunity, opportunity to explore passion together, okay? So again, we could be you know, leaving a soulmate relationship, entering a new one. Um, again, like the, like the card said, there are many, we have many soulmates. We come together for spiritual growth and connection, but does that, that does not mean that, you know, you're with that person for forever, but you know, that sense of, of comfort again, that was coming up with that person is there. That sense of, oh, well, I've been in this for maybe a while, or, you know, I feel really comfortable with this person. I should be with them. You know, yes, you could be soulmates, but that does not mean that you are together forever. Um, but for those of you who are coming together into a soulmate relationship or are having that kind of realization or connection with somebody, yes, you have your soulmate coming in. Or again, if you're having frustration about your um, love life and you want to take a new um, you know, approach to it, yes, your soulmate will come in. You're, you will get your soulmate. You will come in contact with them. You will come together, okay? Don't worry about it. People always think, I'm never going to meet my soulmate. I'm never going to meet. I'm never going to get with them. First of all, we have many soulmates. And yes, you definitely will, okay? Don't worry. All right, so Cancers, that is your February 2019 monthly reading. Check out your weeklies throughout the month to see what else is coming in for you if you want to book a private reading. All that information is right below this video in my description box. Please share and subscribe. It helps the channel. And when I get to 10,000 subscribers, we will do a huge giveaway. All righty, guys, thank you so much and have a wonderful month.